Larry Gross here. Mountain Stage is the show, and if it's not on your public radio station, mountainstage.org is where you can listen to it. And one of our guests on today's show is uh, making their second appearance on the Mountain Stage. Just got a brand new album. They are some of the uh, greatest musicians in Nashville, a town with a million great musicians. These folks will do it all. They obviously they, they write songs, they play uh, all kinds of things. Uh, in this particular uh, group, they, they play bluegrass style uh, instruments, mostly acoustic, but they got a new record called Reckless. They are the Steel Drivers, and I got two of them here. I got Mike and Tammy, and uh, she's the fiddle player. He's the mandolin player in this group, although right. elsewhere. He also plays electric guitar and a bunch of other stuff. Well, first of all, this is your, you told me, Tammy just told me that this is uh, your third album, really. You had a live album. We did. And, and that, was, uh, that was done uh, in the place where you guys kind of got together, wasn't it? Tell us how this, how this group started, because you all have your own careers. You all play in different things. So how did this group get together? It's his fault. <laughs> he, he, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. What do you say? What, the what, legend what goes. <laughs> you well, know, what happened was... Uh, I was just itching to get back into playing bluegrass a little bit more. And uh, the band was supposed to just be a fun band, a hobby band. Our idea was to get a regular weekly gig, you know, every Wednesday night or every Thursday night or something at the same place. In Nashville where y'all Yeah, live. and just go down and do that and have a good time with it. And uh, so I started calling people that I knew and that I thought would, would fit together well. and. Uh, we got together one night and nobody, we hadn't all met each other. Uh, I was the only one that knew everybody. And uh, so we started practicing a little bit and playing standards and just songs that all of us knew. And uh, Chris, who was our lead singer at the time, <clears throat> kept pulling out these songs that he and I had written and saying, let's try this one. And they kept working. And so pretty soon we stopped doing standards mm -hmm. and just decided we would just play original material. And when we started doing that, uh, the record company started sniffing around and, and you know, now we have a, a booking agent and a record label and Publicist. all of that kind of is, stuff. Is it, is it getting too popular? Are you doing more than you want to or are you happy? No, no, it's, everything's working out really well. We've been so lucky yeah. and fortunate and things have gone, really gone good for us. So we're all tickled to death. Well, before I got this Martin box Before I put my guns in hock Every night was on the rocks Before I got this Martin box Guitars, whiskey, guns, and locks Trees and crowd, one more is a fine For good ways to wreck your life now, Tammy's been with us many times. You've been with us before with other folks besides the steel right. drivers. Yeah. Uh, but Tammy, I think, has been with us with five or six other people because she's often on the road playing fiddle, Tammy Rogers, and she also teaches now. I'm Tammy getting the jacket. You're gonna, she's going to get a jacket. Okay. Ten times on Mountain Stage, you get a jacket with your name. Well, we're going to give her one. She was on with everybody from Victoria Williams to... Uh, gosh, Marvin Etzioni. Right, right. Man, Allison been, Mora. Uh-huh. Pam Tillis. Just the, the hits keep coming. The dead well, But you're also, you're teaching now. Yes. Where? Yeah. I'm teaching at Belmont University. Teaching fiddle? Fiddle, commercial. Uh, Belmont's a really unique school in that we have a commercial music program there. So I get to say that I'm professor of fiddle. Cool. And I teach the bluegrass and country style there. And, you and some mandolin. You even visited at the uh, Augusta Heritage Workshop this year in West yeah. Virginia and taught yeah. for a week I there. I loved that. Uh, yeah, that's a great I had a thing. Ball. Really great program it. there. Well, really good. This, this, this record is uh, writes, it, you, you co write a lot, a lot of stuff on this record. Uh huh. And what else is there on here? Is it all stuff that you guys written together, or is there some other covers? Uh, there's no real covers. Uh, there's one song on it that I didn't write, and Chris wrote that with Ronnie Bowman. I see. The great bluegrass singer. So mm -hmm. it's all, or it was at the time, it was all stuff that the band had come up with. Right. 
Well, this it, it is a bluegrass. You call it a bluegrass band in a sense, but it's got it's got a little different feel to it. Yeah. I, it's hard to explain. When you hear it, you'll understand what I mean. And it's it is. It fits right in there with the, a lot of bluegrass sounds and everything else. But there's something else that's there. It's almost like a little blues. honky tonk or blue. That's it. It's blues. I guess that's what it is. Yeah. That that you know, which always is kind of part of bluegrass, mm -hmm. but it's never emphasized quite as much as right. it is on this. So when you hear it. Uh, it's always got the great harmonies. It's got the, it's got a fiddle. It's got a banjo. A banjo. It's, it's got upright acoustic, bass and yeah. a mandolin. So it's all that way. But but the, the material and the songs and the way they're presented definitely has a, a little bit uh, a appeal. That I don't know if it's I should say wider, but definitely a little. Maybe it is wider appeal. Hitchhiked to Birmingham if it hadn't been for love. I never would have called the train to Louisiana if it hadn't been for love. I never would have loaded up a 44, put myself behind the jailhouse door if it hadn't been, if it hadn't been for love. You've obviously uh, found success with the first record. You guys. Uh, Got, you were nominated IBM, or you won Best New Artist. Best New Artist on IBM. Got a Grammy nomination. Yeah, got a Grammy. I mean, that's pretty amazing after a first record yeah. like that. Did you really expect that, or was that come out of the blue? I, I, completely out of the blue. <laughs> Especially the Grammy. The Grammy yeah. was in the country category. Well, I don't think they really knew where to put us, but well, that's, I mean, I'll that's, take it. That's what I'm saying. When you hear it, it's so, it really is yeah. so engaging. And folks, first time they were on Mount Stage, everybody loved them. Not only here in the show, but the audience really fell for them. And I think. Uh, I think you will too. Tell me, this is happening in August. We're talking in August. The fall, you guys got a lot of, uh, you got many things yeah. coming up in the fall? Th things are starting to get a little busier. Yeah. Are you going to yeah. be out on the road this fall? And in the, and this record isn't even officially out until September. September. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you'll be able, by the time you watch this, you'll be able to get it because uh, Mountain Stage on the radio will be in October. Yeah. So by the time you see this, it will be out and you really should look it up because it uh, really is a great record. Yeah, pl and please uh, come to steeldrivers.com and uh, you can order the record there and also check out all of our activities. So tell, tell them who else is in the band. So it's this five-piece band. Tammy um, Rogers, Mike Anderson. Mike Fleming plays upright bass and sings the baritone part, the easy part. And Richard Bailey. Great banjo player. Plays banjo and uh, does not sing in this band. But yeah. then Gary, the new... And Gary Nichols plays yeah. guitar and is the lead singer, and he's fantastic. So that is the Steel Drivers, uh, mountainstage.org is where you can hear this set. But go to their website, check it out, and see where they're coming, because if they come to your neighborhood, you'll love this show, you'll love these guys. They're really a wonderful band, great, great writing, great harmonies, and, uh, and wonderful, wonderful playing. The Steel Drivers, mountainstage.org is where you can hear the show. I'm Larry Gross. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Larry. Again. There's two angels sitting on my shoulder. All they ever do is disagree. One sits on the side of I'm a reason. The other on the other side of me. There's two angels sitting on my shoulder. It's on the side of rhyme and reason. I got her on the other side of me.